Three SAT practice questions just for you guys. We're with the problem solving and data analysis for the SAT. So let's dive in and see what's the first scatter plots question I get. I am heading to page 145, question number two. Okay. Adriana used the data from a scatter plot she found on the US Census Bureau's website to determine a regression model, my goodness, this is a mouthful, uh, showing the relationship between the population in the area where she lived and the number of years after she was born. The result was an exponential growth equation of the form y equals x sub zero times one plus r to the x. Which of the following does x sub zero most likely represent in the equation. Now, I know that remembering my exponential equation form, x sub zero is the starting value. So the starting value for Adriana um, seems to be, it says uh, x years after she was born. So zero would be the year she was born. So the population in the year that she was born, which is answer choice A. Awesome. All right, let's try another. Uh, page 150, number 14. Scientists plotted data for two animal populations on a scatter plot. Population A, which they graphed along the x-axis, and population B, which they graphed along the y-axis. The data showed a strong negative correlation. Which of the following statements is justified? Okay, so justified? I get this whole correlation versus causation thing all the time. So we need to show that one of them goes down at the same time that the other one is going up, but not necessarily that one caused the other, which is happening in both A and B, and I am not falling for that nonsense. Um, C says because the correlation is negative, there can't be causation, which isn't necessarily true. There could be causation. We just don't know for sure, so we can't make statements about it. So C is just as bad as A and B. Uh, and D, the rise in population A is correlated to the decline in population B, but causation is unknown, which is exactly what I was looking for. Thank you, answer choice D. And one more, uh, page 144, question number eight. So flipping back again. Question number eight. A marketing team is conducting a study on the use of smartphones. In a certain metropolitan area, there were 1.6 million smartphone users at the end of 2014. The marketing team predicts the number of smartphone users will increase by 35% each year. If Y represents the number of smartphone users in this metropolitan area after X years, then which of the following equations best models the number of smartphone users in this area over time? All right, so this is another one about the exponential growth form, because if it's growing by 35% every year, that's not linear. That's going to be increasing exponentially. So I'm looking for something, y equals the starting value, which is 1.6 million, uh, times the rate of change, which is, since it's increasing, we want one whole plus that 35%, we're gonna put it in decimal form. So one plus 0.35 raised to the power of, this is going to be units of time. So we're looking at X years. So our X goes up here. And now I want to find an equation that matches this. And that is answer choice A. Awesome. Thanks for watching me, and if you have any questions, as always, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one, and I will see you next time on three SAT practice questions.